Empirical and Molecular Formula Objectives Calculate the empirical formula given percent composition. Calculate molecular formula given the empirical formula and molar mass. Empirical formula from percent composition. Empirical formulas show the composition of a compound in terms of the relative numbers and kinds of atoms in the simplest ratio. The empirical formula of a compound can be determined from percent composition data obtained experimentally. For example, experimental analysis shows that a compound contains 60% of carbon, 13.4% hydrogen, and 26.6% oxygen by mass. We must determine the empirical formula of the substance. The first step is to convert the percentages to grams. Here we assume there is a 100 gram sample present. So 60% is equal to 60 grams, 13.4% is equal to 13.4 grams, while 26.6% is equal to 26.6 grams. We have just converted from percentages to grams. Next, we need to convert from grams to moles. 60 grams divided by 12.01, which is the molar mass of carbon, is equal to 5 moles, while hydrogen, 13.4, grams divided by 1.01 .01 is 13.3 moles. Oxygen, 26.6 grams divided by 16, which is the molar mass for oxygen, is 1.66 mole. So currently our formula is C5H13.3O1.66. We know that there cannot be decimals for the subscripts of formulas. So the third step, we need to convert our moles to whole numbers. In this case, we would divide all the moles by the lowest mole. For example, carbon 5 moles divided by 1.66 moles, which is the mole from oxygen, results in 3.01 mole. Hydrogen 13.3 divided by 1.66 is 8.01 moles. While well, oxygen is 1.66 divided by 1.66 is 1 mole. So now we have our new subscripts. C3H8O. This is the empirical formula of a substance containing 60% carbon, 13.4% hydrogen, and 26.6% oxygen mass. Practice question 1. Determine the empirical formula of a chemical if its mass percent composition is 14.5% carbon and 85.5% chlorine. The first step is to convert percentages to grams. Here 14.5% is 14.5 gram and 85.5% is equal to 85.5 gram. The second step is to convert from grams to moles. Here carbon 14.5 divided by 12.01 results in 1.21 mole. For chlorine, 85.5 grams divided by 35.45 results in 2.41 moles. The third step, by the way, that formula now is C1.21 Cl2.41. And we need to get rid of the decimals. We need to convert moles to whole numbers, the third step. Here the carbon, 1.21 divided by 1.21 is 1 mole, while the chlorine, 2.41 divided by 1.21 results in 1.99 mole. Rounding, we have CCl2. This is our formula for a chemical containing 14.5% carbon and 85.5% chlorine. Practice question 2. Determine the empirical formula of a chemical if its mass percent composition is 68.4% chromium and 31.6% oxygen. The first step is to convert from percentages to grams. Here we would have 68.4 grams and 31.6 grams of oxygen. Step two is to convert from grams to moles. Here chromium, 68.4 grams divided by the molar mass of chromium, 52 grams, results in 1.32 moles, while oxygen, 31.6 grams divided by 16, which is the molar mass of oxygen, results in 1.98 mole. Our formula is CR 1.32 O 1.98. Step 3 is to convert from moles to whole numbers. Here we divide by the smallest mole. 
here 1.32 divided by 1.32 is 1 mole of chromium and 1.98 divided by 1.32 results in 1.5. Our new formula is CR1O1.5. Again, we cannot have decimals. Therefore, we can convert the decimals to whole numbers by, if it is between 0.1 and 0.9, we multiply by a small integer to obtain a whole number. Here, chromium, 1 multiplied by 2 results in 2, while for oxygen, 1.5 multiplied by 2 results in 3. So our new formula is Cr2O3. The empirical formula for a chemical with a mass percent composition 68.4% chromium and 31.6% oxygen is Cr2O3. Molecular formulas from empirical formula and molar mass. Molecular formulas show the number and kinds of atoms in a molecule, but not their arrangement. Some molecular compounds have the same molecular and empirical formulas, example N2O3. However, the molecular formula of many molecular compounds is a whole number multiple of the empirical formula. For example, if you were to determine the molecular formula for a compound with empirical formula CH and a molar mass of 78 grams per mole, the first step is to determine the molar mass of the empirical formula CH. Carbon, there is 1, which is 12.01, and hydrogen, there is 1, which is 1.01. The molar mass of CH is 13.02 grams. The second step is to solve for the multiple N. N is equal to the molar mass of the compound divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. The molar mass of the, empiric of the compound is 78 grams per mole, which is given to us in the question which is divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula, 13.02, which we just solved. So now we have n is equal to 6. The third step is to multiply the empirical formula by n. n is multiplying the empirical formula. So we have 6CH. Our final formula is C6H6. That is the empirical formula that is the molecular formula of a substance with an empirical formula of CH and a molar mass of 78 grams per mole. Practice question 3. Determine the molecular formula of a compound with empirical formula NO2 and a molar mass of 138 grams. The first step is to determine the molar mass of the empirical formula NO2. N which is one nitrogen atom, 14 grams. O, there are two of them, which is 32 grams in total. Adding them up, our molar mass is 46.01 grams. The second step is to solve for the multiple N. N is the molar mass of the compound divided by the molar mass of the empirical formula. Here we have 138 grams per mole, which is given to us from the question 138 grams. Now it's divided by 46.01 grams resulting in n is equal to 3. The third step is to multiply the empirical formula by n. We have 3 NO2. So our formula is going to be N3O6 and that is the formula of a substance with molar mass of 138 grams and empirical formula NO2.